A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver. The Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. On Silver! Let's go, big fellow! On Silver! Away! The Lone Ranger and Tonto reined up on the crest of a small hill overlooking the town of Rockwood that nestled in the valley. Oh, Silver, oh, who's going on? Oh, oh. That place does not look like a bad town. No, Tonto, it doesn't look like a bad town, but it is. It's the most lawless community in this part of the country. And the outlaw there? It's an outlaw's rendezvous. The government has sent five marshals there in the last five months. Everyone's been killed. Your friend there now. That be him clean up town. Anyone can clean up the town. Jim Larrabee's the one to do it. Him know you one way to help? No, Tonto. How long him there? Oh, Larrabee's only been there for about three weeks. Oh. Tonto, I want to know something about the situation before I go into town. Ah. Me go ahead, find out, huh? Find out where Jim Larrabee's living. Ah. Then find out anything you can about the men who control the town. I'll uh, make camp over there among the cottonwoods and wait until you join me. Ah. You go now. Good. Get him up, Scout. On, Silver. It was dusk when the masked man found a desirable campsite beside a stream that meandered through the woods. He dismounted and was about to untie his blanket. And he froze, stood motionless. A faint sound that had claimed his attention sounded like a six-gun being cocked. Yeah, Silver, I heard it. Can't tell what's going You put your hands up. Yeah. Get them up or I'll shoot. Well, at least you're not going to shoot me from ambush. I'm not a dry gulcher like some of you crooks. You think I'm a crook? If you're wearing a mask, that's enough for me. My dad can decide what to do with you. Your dad? His name is Larrabee. I guess you heard of him. Jim Larrabee? That's right. Yes, I have heard of him. They uh, tell me he's a first-rate lawman. You bet he is. Aren't you pretty young to be his deputy? I can handle this gun, mister. You must be about 15, aren't you, Dave? Nearly 16. I... Hey, how'd you know my name? I told you I'd heard about your father. I've heard quite a bit about him and his family. Maybe you know something about the shooting. If I thought you were the one that drilled him, I'd... What's that? Has he been shot? Yeah. But that won't lick him. Made him all the more determined to get rid of your kind. I'd like to see your father. You'll see him all right. I'm taking you to him right now. So 
this is your home, Monday. Just open that door and walk right in. Slow. Very well. Dad, I brought a prisoner for you. Hello, Jim. You. Well, of all things. Take I... it easy. Don't try to get up. How badly are you hurt? Uh, skunk's got me in the chest. I'll get better. Hey, Dad. Better tell your young deputy here to put his gun down. Dave, put that gun down. But that mask. Mask. <laughs> Thunder Asian, eh? When I told you stories about the Lone Ranger. But... The Lone Ranger? Oh, golly. <laughs> it's all right, Dave. I was on the way here to see your father. And I drew a gun on you. Golly, you just let me capture you. You could have jumped me any time you wanted to. I wouldn't like to try it, Dave. You hold a steady gun. <laughs> Dave, you doggone fool. I told you not to go manhunting on your own. Well, I wasn't. I just happened to be in the woods when a man came along. I saw he wore a mask. And you talked to him. Oh, well, yeah. And you still thought he was a crook. Dad, Raddatch, you got to learn to judge men. You got to learn who to trust and who not to trust. Jake Hammer and Cafe don't wear a mask. Would you trust him? No. Well, the law's got nothing on Jake Hammer. Yet he's as crooked as a snake in a cactus patch. First time I ever met this masked man, I sized him up as being on the level. I trusted him. By so doing, I got help in rounding up a mighty bad outfit. Well, I'm sorry, Dad. Well, don't make no such mistake again. Jim, do uh, you want me to look at your wound? No, Doc's taking care of it. I'll be all right. But I got to lie quiet for a time. I see. Is the situation in Rockwood really bad? Uh, it's even worse than I thought. Oh. It's a hangout for all kinds of crooks. A lot of tin horns, as well as a number of big operators. Someone's coming. Yes, that's Toto. Seems to have found Silver and brought him along. What happened, Kimo? Steady, Toto, steady. It's all right. Hi there, Toto. Oh, you, Larrabee. And this is Dave Larrabee, Toto. He captured me and brought me here. Well, I didn't mean to. Uh, he start for woods. See Silver on way here. He follow him. You saw the horse? He was coming here? That's right. But I tied him to a tree. Silver's been taught to work with ropes, Dave. Golly. Uh, sit down, Toto. Let's talk about the situation here in Rockwood. During the next few days, strange things happened in the town of Rockwood. Things that puzzled Jake Hammer, owner of the cafe. Each evening found one more of Jake's friends missing. Hank Tuttle, Scar Bates, Trigger Newton. It was a week after the Lone Ranger and Jim Larrabee met. Jake Hammer looked around the cafe, then eyed an empty chair at a corner table. Uh, Baldy Belden's usual place. Hey, Joe, you seen Baldy? Not since last evening, Jake. Yeah. Be doggone. What happens to all these tin horns? He's the fourth one that's disappeared in the past week. Hey, boy. Yes, sir. Anyone seen Baldy Belden? All right, go on with your games and drinks. Hey, Jake, you suppose these critters are running out on us? I don't know what to suppose. Hey, Jake, uh, you was asking about Baldy. Yeah, what about him, Pete? Do you know anything? I seen him when he left here last night. So did I. Oh, lots of us seen him last night. What about it? Just this. I happened to see him outside at the hitch rail. He was met there by a tall gent. Same one that's been around town for the past week. The two of them rode away together. They did? Hey. What's the matter with you, Joe? Listen, Jake. Night before last, I was outside getting a breath of air when Trig Newton left. He was met at the hitch rail by that same gent. Yeah? You sure of that, Joe? Dead sure. I didn't think anything of it at the time. There was no call to connect the stranger with the fact that Trig disappeared. But if the same armory talked to Baldy last night, and now Baldy's gone... Hey, Jake. Jake, help me! It's Baldy. What's the matter with him? Amber, you gotta help me. You gotta save me. From what? What are you talking about? Where you been? A tall stranger. He's working for Larrabee. Hey, Larrabee? What do you mean? He's captured all the others. He got me. Made me talk. talk. Talk about what? Made me squeal. Tell all I knew. Hide me, Jake. Hide me in case he comes after me. Joe, you and Pete take him into the back room. I'll be there in a minute. Come on, Paulie. This way. Now, boys. All of you get your guns ready. That tall hombre we've seen around town during the past week shows up in here. Get him and bring him to me in my office. Now, don't let him get away. You got that straight? Yeah, all right. Just sit tight, and when I get through with Baldy, I'll give you all the details. Sit down there, Baldy. Yeah. Joe, you watch the window. Pete, the door. I don't want anyone to disturb us. Right. Now, Baldy, you start talking. Wait, it happened when I left here last night, boss. I went up to the hitch rail to get my horse. That tall stranger was standing there in the dark. I noticed when I got close that he wore a mask over his face. A mask? Yeah. Then I saw that he held a gun in his hand. Keep your voice low and take it easy. What? 
Well, what do you want of me? The same thing we got from a few other tin horn friends of Jake Hammer. I don't savvy. Belden, first of all, you've got to get one thing through your head. Jim Larrabee is going to clean up Rockwood. What? The marshal? Yes. But he's laid up. He's hurt. I'm helping him. We want you. Now, now, wait. See here, I'm only small fry. I know all I... about you. You're not in a class with the killers and highwaymen who take orders from Jake. Oh, nothing like that. That's why you're going to get a chance. A chance? To what? A chance to help Jim Larrabee and the law. You'll be allowed to tell all you know about Hammer and his pals. Squeal. That's right. You're going to squeal. Then you're going to sign statements. I, I can't do that. Eldon, get this. Several men have already squealed. More men are going to. Those men who help the law will have a chance to save their necks. You're either with the marshal or against him. Now mount up and come with me. I had to tell a few things, Jake. Didn't have no choice. So you squealed, huh, Baldy? Jake, what could I do? Just how much did you tell the marshal and that masked man? I couldn't tell very much, Jake. I don't know an awful lot. I ain't been in on the bigger deals that have been pulled. You knew about the bank robbery in Three Pines. Yeah. You told about that. Well, I... Did you squeal on me and Joe? Well, boys, I... You I... did. Why, you dirty double cross. Uh, boss, listen to me. I came here to tell you. I got away from them. I came here so you could do something about it. I'll do something about it all right enough. Oh, don't look at me like that, Jake. Please don't. How much information does the marshal have? I don't know. He must have plenty men that went before me could tell a lot. Yeah, and they probably did. I'll get them and deal with them if it's the last thing I do. But as for you... Jake, don't kill me. Think don't. it over, Jake. Uh-huh. I am thinking it over. Baldine, maybe I won't kill you. Maybe I'll give you a chance to square yourself. Oh, thanks. thanks, Jake. Now, you say Larrabee already has some sworn statements about us, hmm? Yeah. All right. I got a hunch that maybe we can get them sworn statements away from him. He's got them locked up somewhere. That won't matter. I think his son will know where they are. Son? You mean that kid? Dave Larrabee is old enough to serve my purpose. What's he got to do with it? Just this, Baldy. He's going to get me every shred of evidence his old man's collected against the boys. But how will you work it? I'll tell you how. He'll either do what I want or he'll be arrested by his own father. For murder. Dave Larrabee? A killer? Yeah. I didn't know you had anything like that on him. Who'd he kill? No one. Not yet. Well, who? If he don't do what I want, he'll hang for your murder. Now, here's what you got to do. It was later the same night. Dave Larrabee slept in his own room in the rear of the house. He was wakened by a soft tapping on the open window. The diggers. Hey. Hey, Dave. Just a minute. I want to speak to you. Open the window wider. Baldy Belden. I heard you'd escape. Yeah, Dave, but I come back. Listen, where's that masked man and that Indian? In another room. What about it? Are you as interested in getting evidence as they were? Oh, yeah, why? And you come with me. That's all I got to say. Just you come with me. Are you willing? Yeah. Just give me time to get dressed and I'll be with you. curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. Dave Larrabee climbed out of his bedroom window and joined Baldy Belden in the darkness. He didn't suspect that Belden acted on orders from Jack Hammer. Hey, look, Belden. Maybe it'd be better if I called a masked man in town. No, no, Dave. Don't do that. I already talked with those two. Oh, I know it. They aim to have me ride out of here from other parts, like those other gents they captured had to do. I don't want to leave Rockwood. I don't understand. That's why I came to you. I can get a lot of information that'll help your pa's case against Hammer and his crowd. But you've got to help me, not that mask man. Hey, all right, then. Where are we going? To Hammer's Cafe. <laughs> What time is it now, Jake? 12.15. It's time Paulie got back. It's been gone long enough to get that kid. He'll be here, Joe. Take it easy. Paulie knows what to do, don't he? He ought to. We went over it enough times. You boys remember your part. We will. Now, here comes Baldy and Dave now. Now, Dave, don't pay no attention to anyone. Just come right through to the back room with me. All right, Belton, but I hope you know what you're doing. I know. Don't worry about that. Here we are. Go on in. This looks like an office. Here's an office. It's Jack Hammer's office. Step inside. I'll shut the door. <laughs> well, that's about the way it works. Jake, how long do we have to wait outside the door? All these places, like I told them, it won't be long. Hey, what's the idea? <laughs> it's starting. That's it. Hey, what's this? Come on, Baldy. Look at Baldy. Baldy. Baldy, what? Joe, Pete, come inside. Hey, you boys. You ain't seen or heard a thing. Go on back to your tables. The drinks are on the house. Shut that door, Pete. You're covered, Larrabee. Don't move. Now, wait a minute. Listen to me. Pete, take a look at Baldy. See how bad he's hurt. Right. He must have gone loco. He drew a gun. I grabbed him. Shut up for a minute. Better give me that gun you're wearing. Here, Joe, take care of it. Right. How about Baldy? Jake. Afraid the poor galoot's done for it. Well, he pulled his gun on me. We, we struggled for it. His finger was on the trigger. He fired ah, the shot. Ah, that's too thin. Joe and Pete and I all heard Baldy yell out. That's right. He asked you not to shoot him. He begged for his life. Maybe he made a few mistakes that were against the law, but that don't say you can kill him for it. You're doggone right you can. But I didn't shoot him. I swear I didn't. Here, let me Get look at Get back him. there. And found it all. Why did a thing like this have to happen in my office? Been having enough trouble without this. But I, so I did Jake, didn't... there's some way you could hush the thing up. Won't do us no good to have a killing here. Yeah, I don't know. I suppose I could hush it up. But why should I? Larrabee's been gathering evidence to jail me. Let's see what it's like to jail his own son. You'd probably kill him. Yeah, ain't that too bad. Mr. Hammer, I... Gosh, I don't know what to say or do. Hey, Jake, maybe you could make some sort of a deal with Larrabee. What do you mean by that, Pete? Well, it stands to reason he won't want his own son to hang. Let's see how he can do anything about it. Well, Bald, he didn't have no family or anything. Maybe if you could get rid of the, uh, the remains. If, uh, Larrabee'd hand over all that evidence he's collected. Oh, well, Dad wouldn't stand for any such deal. Of course he wouldn't. I wouldn't even approach him with the offer. Hey, maybe David'd be willing to listen to reason. What do you mean? Yeah, Joe, what are you getting at? Well, just ask Jake. You'd help hide the murder if David'd make it worthwhile, wouldn't you? Uh, I don't know. Dave's old man has evidence against, uh, that is, uh, against friends of ours. I suppose you know where it's hid, don't you, Larrabee? Well, I... Your pa's got evidence against us. We got evidence that'll hang you. Now, you save our necks, we'll save yours. That's the way it stands, Larrabee. Looks like we got a lucky break when Baldy went loco. By thunder, we'll make the most of it. You want me to steal the evidence from my father? Is that it? Right. Now, you come with me and we'll talk it over. Dave had little sleep that night. He worried about his predicament and considered the proposition that had been made. The next day, he kept apart from his father and his father's friends, the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Late afternoon, found him beside the stream in the cottonwoods where he had first met the masked man. He sat watching the rippling water, so lost in thought that he didn't hear the Lone Ranger's approach. Dave. Huh? Oh, golly. Sorry. I didn't mean to startle oh. you. That's all right. 
Mind if I sit down there beside you? Mind what? No, of course not. Thanks. <laughs> nice here in the woods. Uh-huh. Your father will be able to go back to work in a day or so. Yeah, I know it. That's great. Tano sure taking fine care of him. He'll be able to close in on Jake Hammer and his partners. Do you have evidence against that bunch? Yes, Dave. He has enough to prove that Hammer planned a number of robberies for men like Joe and Pete and several others. Golly. That's not all he has. No? No. There are a number of men in Rockwood who are wanted by the law in other communities. Your father has a lot of facts about those men. Well, he can thank you for that. You sure made some of those crooks tell plenty. Well, most of them took advantage of the chance to clear out. Most of them? I uh, think Baldy is still around. Oh, uh, why do you think that? Well, uh, let's just call it a hunch, huh? Oh, I see. Something uh, bothering you, Dave? Bothering me? Well, no, I guess not. Care to tell me about it? I said there was nothing bothering me. I see. Well, by the way, uh, Tonto's gone for a couple of your father's friends over in Carter City. They'll be here to take part in the showdown. They will, huh? Mm Mm-hmm. Tonto's a great help to me. Mighty good friend, too. I don't know what I'd do without a friend like Tonto. No matter what kind of a problem I have, I can talk it over with him and he'll understand. Mm Mm-hmm. You have problems? Oh. Oh, yes, Dave. I've had some very tough ones. But somehow, they never seem as tough. After I share them with Toto. Uh Uh-huh. I guess it's a lot like carrying a heavy pack. A hundred pounds would be a heavy load for one man to carry. But if he has a friend to share the weight, the load's reduced by half. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Dad said I should learn to judge men. That was good advice. Uh, I wonder... That evening found Jake Hamer in his office with Joe. He glanced at a large clock on the wall. Ah, ten o'clock. Time young Larrabee was here. What'll you do if he's late? I'll handle him. Got a few cards up my sleeve. You think you'll play our game? You play it one way or the other. I'll get it. That's probably him. Well, I guess I'm just about on time. Good thing you are. Step into the office. Well, there be. Find out what sort of evidence the marshal has got. Yes, I did, Mr. Hammer. He's got enough to send you and about ten of your pals to jail. Or to the hangman. Mm Mm-hmm. It's downright interesting. How soon can you get that evidence for me? I'm not getting that evidence for you. What's that? I said I'm not getting... I heard what you said. You know what it means? I think so. It means you'll hang for the murder of Baldy Belt. You can't charge me with murder unless there's a dead body. Oh, so that's it. You think we can't prove anything because we already disposed of the dead body, huh? Well, get this, you young upstart. You're making a big mistake. A mistake that'll hang you. And what's more, I'll prove it. Bring him along, Joe. Right. Come on, Larry. Where, where to? We'll take him out this back door, Joe. Where are you taking me? To a shack a little way from here. I'll show you the dead body that'll hang you. Open up, Pete. Hi, Jake. Anything wrong? Oh, you got him, huh? Go on in, Larrabee. Inside. The kid needs some persuading, Pete. Huh? Baldy Belden. Hey, Jake, why'd you bring him here? You'll see. Why, he's not dead at all. It was all a trick. Sure, it was a trick. He had a blank cartridge in his gun. And you thought you could hang me for murder. And we can. Now, Jake, just a minute. Good thing we kept you here, Baldy. We need you. Please. I tried to put the deal over without killing you. But we need a corpse. Can't put Dave in a hanging spot without one. Dave, Dave, don't let him shoot me. Promise him you'll get that evidence. Don't let him do this. You help him frame me. But I had to. You I... could have left town like the others that gave Dad information. What's the final word, Larrabee? You've had it. No, no, please. Stand up, Baldy. No, no, Jake, please don't let them shoot me. Don't do I'm it. Sorry, but I gotta have something so as I can talk to the marshal. Maybe he'll resign before he has to hang his own son. Now stand up. Oh. Hey, where you are, Baldy? Hey, Look what... out! Go! Oh. Anyone else want to draw? Well, Baldy. You're in a bad spot. Dad. Marshal Larrabee. Looks like we got oh. something to add to the record of you critters. Marshal, Marshal Larrabee. Hold it. Just say what you got to say. 
You get a day in court before you hang. Line up on that wall, all of you. You too, Belden. Oh, yes. Golly, Dad, I didn't think you'd be able the to... The Lone Ranger told me that tonight was a showdown. I had to get back in harness, Dave. Otto, bring in the other lawman. What other lawman? Here, plenty of other fellas. All right. yeah, who are all these men? As soon as they've roped you cooks, they're going to the cafe to pick up the rest of the men on the Marshal's crime list. <laughs> Hold it. All of you, stand where you are. Cover that side, Toto. Uh, he got him. The marshal, that masked man. What's this mean? Where's Jake Hammer? Quiet down and listen. I'm here to make some arrests. Pete, Joe, Baldy, and Hammer are already in custody. There'll be company for them. You'll come quiet or we'll get rough. <laughs> Golly, Dad, what a roundup that was. You've got every crook in town. Yep, it was a big evening, son. Big evening. Rockwood will be a different place from now on. By the way, Dave, I'm particularly proud of you. Oh, but Dad, I... The Lone Ranger told me how you shared your problem with him in the woods this afternoon. He said you made up your own mind to defy them scheming polecats. I didn't know what to do, Dad. The Lone Ranger said I should do what I thought you'd do in the same situation. <laughs> yeah, he told me about it. Said we'd better keep an eye on things to see what Hammer would do when you defied him. But tell me, Dave, how did you happen to trust the masked man far enough to put your problem up to him? Well, Dad, I... I remember what you said. What was that? You said I should learn to judge men. Yeah. Well, I... I judged that the Lone Ranger was a man I could share a problem with. <laughs> Son, I reckon you're a fair judge of men at that. Yes, sir. A fair judge of men. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.